Hello lovelies, I'm Bianca Janice. Let's get into this October wrap up and the six books that we're gonna talk about today. If you love bookish content, subscribe and support below or catch me on my other channels or even my book club on Fable. But first some tea. <laughs> I needed my cozy caffeine today. Okay, first up is The Love Hypothesis by Miss Allie Hazelwood. And this was a really cute STEM science romance about Adam and Olive and the will they, won't they of it all. And basically, um, they kind of fall into this fake dating trope that it's helpful to one of her best friends you find out in the book why adam and olive are fake dating and they are scientists he looks like kylo ren from star wars um he's very attractive i gave this book a three out of five honestly i was maybe gonna even give it a 2.75 but i ended up giving it a three because at the end of the day i think that if a book ignites my love for reading and this somehow did even if it wasn't my favorite book of all time i will rate it higher so i'm gonna give it a three and three stars and higher for me is a recommendable book it is cute it is quaint i could see so many people loving this style of rom-com meet cute um style book and i did this in a book club with me and my best friends and they absolutely raved about it not my personal favorite ali hazelwood book um maybe bride would be my favorite <laughs> which is totally a different vibe i get it but yeah three out of five Next is a five star favorite for me. It's called Wolf Gone Wild by Juliet Cross and it's part of the Stay a Spell series following five sisters, the Savoy sisters. Think of Charmed, think of Witchy, think of they all get with hot guys, hot dudes <laughs> in each book. And I absolutely love this book. I needed a paranormal romance after reading Bride by Ali Hazelwood. And this one was highly recommended. And I don't know why more people don't talk about this book. I'm seriously, it's so underrated. It came out a few years ago that maybe that's why. But this story, it's such a fun read. Okay. Let me set the scene. It's about Evie and Mateo, and Mateo is a werewolf, like a shifter we werewolf, and Evie is a witch. And she has, you know, all of her lovely sisters, and they run like this little tavern. And um, Mateo comes to her family for help with his wolf. His wolf, basically the wolf inside him, his name is Alpha, and Alpha is like an alter ego. And he takes over Mateo sometimes, but Alpha is crazy and funny and hilarious he's nothing like Mateo who's like this smooth artist like introverted alpha is loud and lewd and just rambunctious and it is so funny I thought this book was so charming so comical I also love that Evie, our female main character, is like such a baddie. She's like a hex curse breaker and she's trying to help Mateo who has this hilarious wolf stuck inside of him. So I would 10 out of 10, five out of five, recommend. Next, we have The Hotel Nantucket by Ellen Hildebrand, part of her Nantucket series. This is my first Ellen Hildebrand book and it did not disappoint. I really enjoyed this book. I ended up giving it, I believe, a four star. And because it was so unique, it was so odd, it was such a weird book. I tried explaining this to my boyfriend and he was just like, what are you reading? Because it is a book from a ghost's perspective. And the ghost is a friendly ghost like Casper. And she basically sees the staff that comes to work at this old restored hotel, this billionaire restored the hotel. And she kind of spies on all of the staff and, you know, all of their romantic affairs and all of their, you know, shenanigans that they get up to uh, on their work days. And it's just so interesting to see things from her perspective perspective I thought that was really unique and cool I was just like do I need to read more you know books from this author I thought it was such I don't know it was just like 
a very good unique writing style um, that I haven't come across yet in books so I think I will be tuning in for more Ellen Hildebrand my only complaint is that it was just a little bit long there was one point that I was definitely gonna give it a five star and then it just kept going and it just knocked it down a star but still very enjoyable I wish I would have read it in the summer I wish I would have read it in the summer so if you guys know of her, any other books of hers that are good for other seasons let me know in the comments because this one is definitely like a lay by the pool type of book and just enjoy there's like 20 different characters but by the end it it all it all makes sense they all intertwine it's it's great Next up is Sorry Not Sorry by Sophie Renald. I read this in a book club with my two friends and I just had a ball. I had such a good time with this book. I read it also on audiobook and it's basically like a Bridget Jones diary and I haven't read those books but this one is is very close to that like lovable loserish character that finds her mojo in the end in the dating scene. I so recommend this book if you're a woman a young woman in like your 20s 30s you're trying to figure out life you're trying to you know date and find the right person it is it's a little sexy it's a little bit about you know sisterhood and friendships and rivalries actually the things that broke my heart or uplifted my heart in this book were more like the female friendships that she had in her life at the time and you know living in you know small apartments and living with roommates I found that it's all so relatable and it's basically about this girl named charlotte uh she lives she lives in london she's in i think her early 30s and um but she still hasn't found love she's still living with roommates she's still <laughs> like trying to figure out her job stuff and it's just really hard and she's trying to date and it's she's having no luck and i don't know i just found that so relatable i really love this book so she puts on a podcast called sorry not sorry and this like woman is taking her through all these like dating challenges and and you know you know how to dress like sexier and to feel yourself more i thought this was such a fun story again super relatable very um like a comical like like sex in the city vibes you know and so i really really enjoyed this four out of five stars highly highly recommend if that's the season your life you're in where you're just you know single and trying to figure it out really really good the next two books fall into my two star club two stars and below i usually do not recommend to pick up but i will mention them because i did read them as well um sometimes two stars and below can be a little bit traumatic but here we are first book unfortunately i gave a 2.5 star was the second book in the say a spell series after wolf gone wild i read don't hex and drive and it is about another sister her name is isadora and she runs into a vampire a legendary vampire what i loved about this book was that the mmc the male main character was of indian descent i love that can we get more diversity in our main characters please absolutely felt like he was a fully fledged out character but i felt as if isadora as the lead sister for this book fell a little flat her character wasn't fully fleshed out the wardrobe choices were so interesting like the author had her dressed as like a hippie like carefree like 70s style boho you know skirts and dresses but then she, her character herself she was very introverted she was a closed book she didn't really like most people she honestly didn't like the male lead for the longest time i was just like are these two ever gonna get together and then finally when they get together it's very physical right off the bat and a lot of chemistry i i did love the spice and the chemistry of the book it's it was very spicy love spicy books but i just wish they could have worked on their connection more and because she was such a closed book it didn't it, i just didn't feel like they were a match as characters 
as two main leads and that's why I rated it so low and I gave obviously the first book a five star so I was so disappointed but I'm I have faith in this series I have faith in the Savoie sisters it's very charm coded like I said before so I will be continuing on and actually I have continued on and book three is much much better Another one, unfortunately, I gave 2.5 stars was The Marlowe Murder Club by Robert Thorogood. I just was a little disappointed. It was my first like cozy mystery and just I just felt like there wasn't really much of a mystery. Okay rewind what i did like about this book was that it it was elderly women elderly amateur sleuths okay, it's about judith potts who lives on the river thames in england she's like 70 years old and she witnesses a murder next door that's kind of a cool plot because she kind of <laughs> one morning she always swims like naked in the river i thought that was hilarious and she witnesses you know a gunshot go off and um she starts to investigate and she kind of gets ahead of the police and everything and she also finds like this fun found family with other townspeople that want to get in on what happened to her neighbor um so yeah it was it was really cute super light not like a big mystery to solve at all i appreciated the age diversity that i will say i love seeing and reading about a cast of older ladies and that still had it going on and it was it was cute it was cute that is all my lovelies for this October wrap up. Let me know if you liked any of these books below. What are your thoughts, your comments? I love hearing your comments and let's talk about books, girl. Follow me. I'm the most active, I would say, on Fable because I have a book club and this month we are going through all of the Akatar series. So if you're interested in that, come join us over on the Fable app. And yeah, I'll give you two seconds to subscribe. One, two, did you do it? Okay, see you in the next one.